Good morning, everyone. Today for breakfast, everybody else pretty much has eaten already. I am... Oh, I don't think that's right. Oh, maybe that's right. It's about 8.15. Um, I just got up not that long ago. I'm feeling better, but still, mornings are hard. So, I'm trying to eat better breakfast. So this morning I'm going to make pumpkin BAM waffles from the Trim Healthy Table Cookbook. These are just the BAM waffles with pumpkin in them instead of bananas in them because I don't have any bananas. I also am not going to follow the recipe exactly like it calls only for egg whites. I don't have just egg whites and I don't want to separate the eggs. So I'm just going to do whole eggs. I'm not concerned at this point with weight loss eating Trim Healthy Mama. Um, more concerned with keeping my blood sugars balanced. So I am um, getting this mixed up here. I just went, I just made a mess. I just grabbed this salt and when I grabbed it the lid fell off and it tipped over and spilled everywhere and made a mess. So I had got that cleaned up. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I showed you this in my last video. This is my fantastic waffle maker that makes four waffles. This is my hand for size reference, how big it is. And it's like perfect for our large family. I had one of those little single waffle makers. It just takes forever to cook waffles for our, everyone with that thing. So I was so happy when I found that at the thrift store. So I'm going to finish getting these mixed up so that I can eat. Um, and then today, I guess we're going to go work some cows, possibly. Well, Austin and the boys are. I doubt. And Kaylee probably will help. I won't help. My back really hurts today. And um, making waffles for breakfast is probably going to wear me out. So I'll have to rest after I'm done doing this. But um, that's what we're doing today. Working cows, I think. And that's about it. So, um, yeah, let me get these finished cooking up. Yeah, I know. We'll see how this goes. And Dad got mad, so he got Clayton, up make sure you me. stay here, please. So they're weaning the cows, the calves, and taking the steers out of there. <coughs> they're, we're going to work cows tomorrow now, I guess, not today. So they're gonna, Wayne's going to take them down to their house. <laughs> Cap! No! You're not helping. Oh! No, 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 no. Cap! 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 Come here! Get over 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 here!
love to go here. Oh, I love the baby. How about you grab the stick? He grabbed a big stick and went, ow. Cap, you're not good enough to help with the cows yet. I know you want to. I'm right here. I can't go too high, you'll flip over. <laughs> it's pretty crooked, it needs to be moved. Cap, no. They don't know what those cows are doing. Mom, push me. Mm -hmm. Mom, push me. Hold and hug. 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 Mom, I got it. No way. Don't hug me. Cap. Our swimming pool is still laying here. We got sick and haven't been able to get it picked up yet, but hopefully in the next couple days we'll get get it all cleaned up and put away for the year. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside and finish cleaning up my mess I was making. All right, for lunch today, okay, take those outside and wash them off in the hydrant, please. Thank you. I'm going to make some beef pot pie with whatever vegetables I have around here. We're ha I'm getting the hamburger cooked right now. Cadence just went outside to wash off those onions from the garden. Kyla is peeling some potatoes. We're going to cut up some pie squash into chunks. I also have um, some zucchini over here <coughs> that... I think this one has a few spots, um, and this one has more. I'll probably cut this smaller one up and put it in there. The chickens got two of them in the garden before we got them pulled, so we'll just peel those pieces off and get those chopped up. Um, and then onions, and that's probably what we'll have in it. I'm going to make some pie crust and get it rolled out and... Put in my big pan. <clears throat> okay, mom, this one's just okay, just set them in a pile here while you peel the other ones. So that's what is for lunch today. So it's a little after 11 o'clock right now. I made breakfast this morning. And that was like 8.15 or something. So I got the waffles made and I sat down and ate. And then I have literally been sitting on the couch for like two hours. And now... I just, I just got a little bit of energy, so I cl I'm cleaning, trying to clean the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> Living in the country, on a dirt road, there's just a lot of dust, and it just builds up, and then we have the animals in the house, so it gets dirty, but let me show you what I did in the kitchen. I did a little bit of rearranging. This black cupboard used to be over there where the vegetable hutch is at. I just switched some spots. I don't know why. I just felt like doing it, so I did it. And um, Austin had to take this drywall out a while ago to do the electric something with the electrical, and it hasn't ever gotten fixed. I'm terrible at doing drywall, so I'm not going to be the one to fix it, and it really doesn't bother me that much to have it not finished, so it's going to stay like that until we get around to fixing it. But So I, what I did when I moved everything... I pulled, I pulled everything out. I like took the rugs out and I took out the trash can and the hutches and everything. I swept the entire floor, shook the rugs outside. I swept the whole floor and mopped the whole floor and then put everything back. So that was needing to be done, definitely. So I did that. Now I'm working on making lunch. I'll probably have to rest after lunch again, but <coughs> I'm actually getting some things done today, so I'm happy.
All right, this is how this is looking. We also pulled our carrots, the rest of the carrots from the garden. So we chopped up a few of those and put in here. So this has got hamburger, <coughs> some potatoes, zucchini, onions, pie squash, and carrots. All of that, all the vegetables came from our garden except for the potatoes, but I do have potatoes from the garden. They're just not the ones that we used. Um, and then I'm getting ready to make a little bit of a gravy kind of to put in here um, that will thicken up as it cooks in the oven and we'll get it put in. This is one of my pie crusts in here. The other one I'm still working on in my food processor. I've never made it this way before. I have rarely made pie crust, so it's probably like the fourth or fifth time I've ever made it in my whole marriage. Um, but I'm getting this made in here and then I'll get them rolled out and put in the pan. Okay, so then get in the, in the fridge and get some <clears throat> Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, it's right there on the door in that brown, dark brown bottle. Don't oh, on the second shelf over there. Here's my bottom crust in my pan. This is my big, it's like an 11 by 15 pan. <laughs> mix it? Yeah, mix it up now and we'll put some cornstarch in it. What, a spoon? Uh, a little mixer, this thing. Kyla is getting some the gravy stuff mixed up and we'll get some cornstarch put in that and then we'll dump it in. Mom, like it? Nice, crispy. Yeah. <laughs> You good boy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Did you eat all your chewy? You already ate it all. Hmm. You ready? <laughs> it was silly. Good boy. Good boy. Got me that. Drop it. Drop it. You're I know it's all to the meat, potatoes. Being mean. He's been asking you. Yeah. Alright, so it is now about 3 30. I thought I had to clean up somewhere. I um just got done sweeping and mopping the whole floor. So the floor is freshly mopped. Austin is outside. Let me see if I can show you him. Can you see him over there? He's in that thing right there. That little bobcat. But they, I don't know what they're doing with it. Um, so they went over to my in-laws and got that started. And they're going to use it, or he's using it to um, scoop the garden. They are going to take off a lot of the manure that's out there. Because it was too much this year. 
So he's got the fence down for the garden and he's going to scrape the top off and level it all out. <coughs> Yesterday uh, he had the kids help him stack the um, bricks that are out there, the little paver things that we use for walkways. So they've got those stacked up and they're going to do that. <coughs> I, like I said, I just finished mopping the floor. Kyla and Cadence are making brownies in there. Um, Kyla's made them before. <laughs> and they're out of her uh, fun schooling cookbook. They, I think it's Yum Schooling is what that one's called. Let me go look. So they're making some brownies for our buddy to have lit a little bit later. <laughs> Yum Schooling cookbook. <clears throat> so That's what we're making. Do not ruin it. You got it. I told them I would help them read the book, but they have to do everything else themselves, so that's what they're doing. Alright. Now I have to clean their mess up. Yeah, it's a baby. Yeah. Why is there cocoa powder in the sugar? Um, <laughs> it was a lot crazy. You need to scoop that out of there and put it in your in your bowl. It won't hurt to have a little extra sugar in there. Okay. So now. Today is Thursday. <coughs> um, Austin is not going back to work until next week. He still, I can't remember if he took ibuprofen today. No, <coughs> I don't remember. <coughs> anyway, he's not going back to work, I think, until Tuesday, but I'm not 100% positive. Um, but. And Tuesday night, so he'll be home still for several more days. But I think I'm going to get out our school stuff and try to do... Hi! Did you ever fall asleep? No. No? Okay, you can get up. I'm going to do a little bit of planning and getting ready for next week when we start school back up again. I haven't done school in two weeks now from being sick, so I'm, I'm ready for like some order and some organization. And... <coughs> I'm kind of in a rut, in a burnout. Hi, Hi mommy. Uh, with school, I shared with Kaylee and Austin that I'm just, I'm just tired of reading books. <laughs> I feel like every book is just the same. There's not going to be any new books that will impress me because I've read a lot of books to my kids and I'm just feeling worn out with school so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that if I'm just gonna push through and continue on anyway and hopefully that feeling will go away once we get started I think I'm just in a drag from being off school for two weeks <coughs> I tend to get like that when my husband's home for a long time and we don't have any kind of orderly like school during the day yeah. I start feeling like I'm not doing a very good job and I'm failing at teaching them and then I get all depressed and um, so I recognize that this time I'm trying to fight against it, but it's a struggle. So I'm also considering getting a gather round unit and trying that, but I haven't decided yet if that's what I want to do. So we shall see what I end up doing. Biddy just got up from her rest time, huh Biddy? She is laying in her bed. What were you doing in there if you didn't sleep? into your teddies. Your hair is wild, girl. What is this? It's like a big rat ball. <laughs> you need to brush your hair out. No, you don't. Alright, so I'm going to get out my computer and our school stuff and maybe do a little organizing. Oh, I'll show you a, a new book I got to read to the kids, the little kids. Um, Crispin might enjoy it. I don't think Coulter will really care. I'll show you a couple of new things I got. Got a movie. We got a movie. Okay, so first thing was this. Um, Voice of the Martyrs was doing like a special thing a while ago where you went on the website and picked. They had several options of free things. And this is the one that I picked out of the options. The Torchlighters 16 and episode a, DVD collection and Heroes of the Faith. there's a book like it. Yeah, so this has all... We have... We had most of these already, but we didn't have a few different ones. And this tells you what's on there. Anyway, 
a lot of the ones we have, we watch them over and over and over. I know and they're we scratched watched, and don't work as well. I know so I we watched to get a fresh these set. two. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, so we've watched several of these already. So it came with this DVD collection and this activity book that goes with it. And there's activity pages for each um, and those even, video. And there's even stuff in it that goes on the movie. Yeah, it goes with the movie, huh? So it's just kind of like a workbook that goes with it. Unfortunately, I can't make copies of it, but we can read and um, do the questions and maybe print off our own coloring pages and stuff if we decide to do this. Um, I think it would be fun to do as just a little type curriculum thing, like one, one DVD a week and the workbook pages with it. I think that would be fun. So anyway, I got this free which was really cool. And then the other thing, I don't know if any of you have ever watched, um, no, I can't think of what her name is. Bally Delta. Sherry Hayes from momdelights.com. Um, she talks about these books, the child craft book. She is a Charlotte Mason for real moms and does Charlotte Mason for real moms and she makes she's got like the lesson books she uses the McGuffey readers a lot so she uses a lot of vintage books for her homeschooling um but this book I got from my mother-in-law and she's got the whole entire set so this is the first one child craft and this book is full of fairy tales and rhymes and fun pictures um beautiful pictures a lot of the old time Rhymes Beautiful. and games and stories. Big stories. So I thought that the little kids especially would probably really like this. And um, and it would be a fun thing just to add in every once in a while. So I borrow this from her and then when we're done with this one, we can go on to the next ones. The next ones I think have some stories and rhymes and poems in them also. So I like that. You like that? You think that'll be good? tonight we just had leftovers or buffet night where we got to pick and choose from all the leftovers in the fridge <clears throat> so we just finished eating now Austin's outside with the Bobcat just Ow. trying it out because they just got it running and he didn't get to practice with it so he's trying that out kids are doing table chores and brushing teeth and we are just gonna get ready to wind down for the night so thank you so much for hanging out with us today i hope you enjoyed seeing our meals that we had and just seeing a little bit of our day um, i will see you guys all next time bye